Hey, namaste everyone. Ram here, your DNA hacker. I'm back for part five of coronavirus prevention, really also known as disease prevention. In this video, I'm going to teach you how meditation can reprogram your cells and boost your immune system. So we're going to talk about how the majority of who you are is subconscious programs, programs that you are not aware of, that are operating in the background that you acquired at a point where you no longer remember. Usually, people look at early age. We're talking about earlier than seven years. Then between seven years and a young adult, adolescence, we start to learn habituation, habits. We do things over and over. We create habits, some good, some bad. Those also get dumped into the subconscious realm. And I can do them without really thinking about them. It may dictate my behavior. It may be something as simple as uh, playing an instrument that I've done it so many times that it comes very easy, it's very automatic. And so, uh, and then of course, there are subconscious programs that go even deeper than that. It may be in utero. It may be even before the time of conception, which is a topic that we're not gonna get into at this point, but who you are spans much more than you think. And the majority, around 90 to 95% of who you are is not conscious to you and it drives everything that you do including your own health you can actually supercharge and activate your immune system i don't understand what what this explosion of reaction where the numbers for the coronavirus are skewed because we are not taking into consideration about at least 50 percent of the people that get the virus and have no symptoms and so the numbers are magnifying the death rate which could be much closer to the seasonal flu that we see every year and this is just another version of it albeit caused by a virus that is a little bit more novel and it hits some people harder but you do not have to be in a cave in a cabin in a house locked away you can actually empower your health and I've de dedicated this video series to teach you some of the beginnings on how to do that. If you want to supercharge your life, I promise you there is nowhere else that can teach you what the Being a Hacker Secrets Mastermind can teach you. Join it, try it, it's a free trial, 30-day trial. If you don't like it, you cancel it. It's an amazing program and if you are of Spanish and you prefer this to be in Spanish, I will be, I will be running a Spanish version of the Mastermind as well for those who prefer it in the Spanish language. All right, let's begin. Again, as before, as a bonus, if you subscribe, give a thumbs up, comment below, go to dnhackersecrets.com. Go to the contacts page, you gotta reach out to me because otherwise I, ca I can't know where to send it. Just give me your email and I will send you a professionally made guided meditation that uh, is somewhat like this technique I'll describe shortly where you can actually uh, sit down and reset and start to do some of the inner work that you're not currently doing. The inner work to try to observe the things that are underlying everyday consciousness so that you can learn to actually overcome the programs that are limiting your potential, limiting the activation of your body, of your mind. And so uh, this is important to actually become aware of these underlying programs. And so this video is gonna be a beautiful video where you'll be able to sit down, turn it on, and have it take you on a little journey where you can go within and really reset your stress, and as you'll see, boost your immune system. Okay, so why practice meditation? Uh, I don't, I don't know if I, uh, I didn't add it here. Oh, uh, I mentioned already at least 90, probably closer to 95% of who you are, are subconscious, automatic, autonomic programs. And the vast majority of your nervous system is this subconscious program. The majority of your nervous system does things without you thinking about it. The same nervous system that I teach in the Inner Hacker Secrets Mastermind sets the program of your cells, of your genetic programs. How does it do it? By secreting certain information, certain peptides, of which there's thousand combinations, uh, probably in the millions of combinations, because we're talking about thousands of peptides, different peptides, different short proteins that are being released and they're acting on your cells throughout your body. If I'm stressed, 
my pattern of peptide release changes and this pattern of peptide release will turn on certain genes and turn off others and change the proteum, the program that I have running in my body, which may immunosuppress me, may cause inflammation, may contribute to mental disease, cardiovascular disease, so many diseases. In the Art of Stress-Free Living, which you can get a copy below, I describe the interactions between stress, for example, and many different conditions, including Alzheimer's. In the Hacker Secrets book, the second book that's coming out uh, this year, is uh, tentatively scheduled to be released May 7th. Uh, because of the coronavirus, we may have to actually push this uh, away. But in DNA Hacker Secrets Mastermind, I take it even a step further. And I describe the mechanism by which stress causes neurodegeneration, can cause Alzheimer's disease, for example. And this is something that really nobody's talking about. And there's some uh, uh, scattered data, but nothing has been put together. And you'd be uh, definitely uh, should look at that because at least 90% of all diseases can be attributed to stress. Hey, namaste. I just uh, cut the video real quick because there was some uh, helicopter going by, a uh, rescue helicopter of some sort. Okay, so what I was saying is that at least 90% of all diseases are attributable, or around that much, are attributable to stress. Meaning that it's not attributable to something that your genetics is doing, that your genes are doing. There is no set program that you inherited. You inherit a blueprint, which that blueprint could, in a very small percent of people, less than 5%, maybe less than 1% of the subset of people, that blueprint that you inherit actually has some problem. And I inherited some sort of mutation that causes this one protein that, that has a key role Let's say sickle cell disease is an example of that. Hemoglobin is abnormal, it causes hemoglobin to do because it's in the blood and the blood does a lot of different things. Hemoglobin is involved in uh, transport of oxygen. Then if my hemoglobin is effective, it can, it can impact a number of things and therefore I could get a disease. But the majority of diseases are not caused by your genes activating some sort of disease. You activate disease. And as long as you continue to think that diseases are something outside of you, you will forever be at the mercy of things outside of you. As long as you think that there's stressors outside of you, something that causes stress, you will be at the mercy of stress. You can learn to be stress and disease free as we teach in the Inner Hacker Secrets Mastermind that you can uh, find more information on the innerhackersecrets.com. It is uh, something that a lot of people think is impossible. They've taken for granted that it is this way that they have to live with mental or physical problems and it doesn't have to be that way. Your nervous system sets the program. Meditation is uh, allows you to break some of these subconscious programs because the majority, I would say probably around 70% of these subconscious programs that most of which you acquired at a early, early age are destructive or unhealthy. And so they're impacting me on a day-to-day -day basis in my relationships, in the way that I react to certain situations. It's impacting my metabolic state. So it could may maybe actually even make me gain weight. It may make my metabolism so it make me make me less resistant to disease. It's a number of different ways in which you can oper affect me. So if we're talking about 70% of what's in there that I'm not aware of is running these automatic programs through my nervous system, which the majority, the bulk of my nervous system is not under my conscious control. The part that's conscious is mainly residing in the frontal lobe. And that is a small portion. And in fact, the majority of the people, because this was in a sense acquired very recently in human history, it is not well used. It's not well under control of the frontal lobe, the prefrontal cortex. And so now I'm at a double disadvantage. Not only are my autonomic programs, the bulk of my nervous system, not under my control, although it can be, and we teach that at the Inner Hacker Secrets. And part four, the breathing technique, is one of the beginnings to learn how to tap into that. Not only is, are these programs so destructive, but the part that I do have control over often is not a great regulator of my instincts, my impulses, my emotions, and I'm out of sorts, I'm out of whack. This is why if I dominate the frontal lobe, if I learn how to have emotional quotient, 
it really impacts me in every facet of my life. It's not about IQ, it's about EQ. How well I regulate my impulses, my emotions, my fears, my instincts, etc. I may have a set instinct story. So meditation helps you break from duality from both hemispheres. The breathing technique, no, that's not the breathing technique, the meditation technique that I'll be uh, talking about today helps to create that state of union by bringing your attention away from the hemispheric dualic uh, cerebrum, the cortex, the brain, what you call the brain, to the center here, to your heart. And so it draws you to a center point and starts to make you whole again. And as you work to drown out the noise, the, 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 the body, the ego, and you embrace emptiness, as you sit there and you embrace nothing, you start to clear the space of your mind to allow you to see more clearly what's underlying your personality or your ego, what's underlying your body, your health, the, how, the way that your cells do the things that they do. So by me clearing space, I can actually go within consciously and experience things that are gonna pop up and manifest. This is why in meditation, I don't teach initially higher forms of meditation. These are, these are lower forms, but effective forms of meditation. What we want to identify are what are those underlying things that keep popping up. So a lot of people try to push away their thoughts. Don't. Observe what comes in recognize it and let it go comes in recognize and let go you're doing an exercise as you do this exercise of and letting go guess what the thoughts start to come in less often and as i resolve the underlying programs what i'm observing and i'm not going to be discussing today i may do uh, another video in the future on how you actually go about changing these programs and that's an interesting topic if you're interested hit me a comment uh, below and so as I do this observation and letting go, and as I work with the thoughts that are arising from my subconscious mind, that are just bubbling up from deeper portions of my being, I can then observe how they impact me on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm breaking free from duality and bringing about a state of union, which actually is a preparation for self-realization, which I'm teaching in a third book, though after Dina Hacker Secrets, called Voyage from Human to God. It's actually my first book, but I haven't published it yet. So it's also the beginnings of realizing your true self is what it means, who you really are. Because what you really are is not body and ego. And because you're identified with a reduced, weakened version of you, an imposter self, which is the ego, and you may be gripping to the body, you are actually limiting your potential. It's not that your body isn't a real thing. It's in a tangible thing that you don't have personality likes this like those things are real phenomenon but that's not who you are it's like me saying that the thoughts and the words that i'm saying right now are actually me no they're a part of me there's something that's just something i'm using to communicate all right so uh i already mentioned breaking the autonomic subconscious programs i may be doing a video on how you change your subconscious programs uh after this it won't be part of the coronavirus prevention and uh stress reset we talked about it as well this technique even two to five minutes of doing it can reset your stress to levels lower than when you woke up during that day that day so i may wake up here as the day progresses my stress levels go up and my hormones stress hormones go up if i started my day here i do this i'm currently here when i do this technique i will be below where i originally started and you can physiologically measure this and uh, it also boosts your natural killer cells. It helps to have uh, induce changes to cells, cell-mediated immunity. So it's the immunity that involves actual cells. For example, natural killer cells that identify cells that are infected with virus or cancer cells, which may be expressing proteins on the cell surface of the cell that the immune system can recognize and then kill. You've had probably cancer before, cancer cells in your body, but you didn't develop what we call cancer because your immune system detected the abnormal cells and eliminated them before they became a problem, before they grew, metastasized, moved somewhere else. And of course, with the case of this virus, 
this is a virus that is infecting cells. When it, and I talked about the physiology, I think in part two, when it gets into your cells, it will start to make copies of itself. But before it does, it presents antigens, as you saw my daughter running by there. Um, it will present antigens to the surface of the cell. And again, we've primed our body by doing techniques like this to have cells that will identify the virally infected cells before they can actually spread further and start uh, infecting more cells. And of course, this technique also, because I am disidentifying with the subconscious programs, I'm breaking from the regular routine, can actually begin to alter many different genetic programs, thousands of genetic programs, thousands of biochemical pathways. Uh, it will also induce anti-inflammatory. So you see anti-inflammatory molecules go up. We know inflammation, I've talked about this extensively, inflammation and disease. And anti-aging as well. Uh, activation of genes and, and pathways that are involved that we know are anti-aging. For example, uh, this te uh, uh, technique will increase telomerase, an enzyme that uh, helps to keep the length of the tips of your chromosomes intact. They wear out over time, and as the chromosomes wear out at the ends, it's thought that it's associated with cellular aging. So if I can keep those ends more intact, it actually would benefit me. And of course, this is a form of healing from within. You're going to transform your health. I think one of the leaders in uh, uh, this area of, of going within with meditation has been Joe Dispenza and has done some great work in that uh, arena. All right, so those are the benefits. The technique is very simple. Number one thing you want to do is when you assume a certain position, either lying down or sitting, preferably sitting, but if you do sit, you want it to be in a comfortable position. Upright, good posture, head aligned with the spine, and you want to slow down your breathing. Just begin with a minute or two, just focus on your breath and start to make your breath long and deep. Just really, and, uh, and you can even visualize that as you inhale, you're taking in light. And as you exhale, you let go of the crap that you've built, all this stuff, heavy stuff, negative stuff, dark stuff, and you're just letting it go. Inhale light and exhale darkness. So we'll do that for a little while. And of course, the video will guide you through this process in a great way, uh, with some nice scenery, some background music, with timing, so kind of keep you on track. And then, as you, when you reach you, you, a point where you feel a little bit more settled, it is suggest, I suggest that prior to you doing this technique, that especially if you're at home, if this is different if it were a regular situation and you're at work and it's so hectic, you may wanna try this technique while you're seated at desk, like say if you have a desk job, and nobody even has to know that you're doing this. You could just be seated there, you kind of just tune out the outside, just start tuning into your breath, and then you focus on the heart. If you are at home and you can do something, some, ex some relaxing exercise, first so you focus on the heart center as you keep your breath slow but you start to detach from the breath don't think about the breath so much start to focus on the heart and imagine that there is a luminous bridge between your brain and your heart connecting it through the cervical area down to your heart again remember imagination and concentration equal reality if you concentrate long enough and you imagine it will become real anything i don't care what it is i've seen it many times there's numerous examples even in medical literature and in my own life i've seen in these experiences whatever you will will happen but because we're unfocused we don't have good power of concentration and we don't use the power of our mind of our imagination of our creativity we don't create we react more often than not then we don't focus and we don't build beautiful things that we can build. So I'm building this little connection between my heart and my brain and something interesting is gonna happen. That my field of influence, this energy field, that it goes beyond my body. Your brain is almost like a, like a generator of a field, it's also an antenna that can draw also similar energies. So if I'm projecting something out and my field is of a certain vibrational state, I will draw the same thing to me. 
But in this moment, I am drawing out something different. I am generating a more expansive field that is now drawing, again, remember, healing from within, a lot more healing currents. It's taking me out of stress and changing the programs and the way my brain is now secreting proteins, peptides. Peptides then that are gonna influence the entire body. And if you persist and practice, you will have already the changes in your body, both genetically, physiologically, proteins, biochemically, etc. So that when I sit the next time and the next time and the next time and the next time, remember practice makes perfect or improvement. I am now changing myself from within so that I'm more fit for the practice. And now I've created a connection between the heart and the brain. Heart brain coherence, the heart math Institute have been uh, 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 very uh, critical in this kind of area of studying this. And, uh, they were the first people to have a meditation technique like this, to talk about a meditation like this, technique like this uh, that I know of. And then you connect. Once you feel really centered and you're focused in the heart, you keep imagining that connection, that bridge, luminous here, luminous here, bridge. You then connect with a higher emotion, openness, gratitude, forgiveness, joy. Be happy for what you have. Try to connect with maybe you need to forgive somebody for something then think of that person and forgive them have your heart burst with joy with love and as you do that you expand and open more and that field that you're generating draws better things and this is why i say somebody asked me once and with this we'll wrap up the video what is the key secret to help the key secret to help is higher ethics when i connect with what i truly am love joy, peace, bliss, happiness, forgiveness, charity, empathy, compassion, service, worship, etc. Connection with nature, respect, honor, humility. When I start to emulate the best teacher that I have, which is Mother Nature, that acts in that way, it is the same image we attribute in every religion and to God. If we emulate that, then we become that with a capital T. And our health is going to be transformed because I am going to be producing higher states of vibration of consciousness. And my body and my cells and my genetics are gonna respond in turn. But if I'm busy caught up in the everyday crap and I'm caught up in stress and anger and fear and worry and all this stuff, my, higher, my vibration is gonna be different and it's going to be limiting me limiting my potential, making me darker, a darker soul, you could say, darker spirit, rather than an illuminated and powerful sage. And I, that's what is my mission, is to teach people how they can become masters and sages of life. You can do it. I studied them for decades. I integrate into my life. I develop a program to teach people how to do this. And I would love to meet you in person and teach you how I can help change your life. All right? And that you have, can do it and it's within you. All right? Take care. Namaste.